Hi everyone, my name is Toy Burton and I am the founder and executive director of the Roxbury Unity Parade. Today we are doing a caravan to celebrate Miss Sarah Ann Shaw. Um, I believe that we should give our community gems their flowers why they should smell them. And that is why we are here today. Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Brandy Brooks. I'm originally from the South, but I moved to Boston in 2003, and I've lived here ever since. Um, why this is important to me, regardless of whether I'm a Bostonian, you know, born and raised, it's important because Sarah Ann Shaw means something to this community. And by community, I mean people of color. She was the first, and you always have to celebrate the first. You have to celebrate the trailblazers while they're still here and they can celebrate with you. So this is important, it is historic, and I'm glad to be a part of it. My name is Reverend Liz Walker. I am now a preacher, I'm pastor of Roxbury Presbyterian Church, but for about 25 years, I was a television journalist in Boston at uh, WBZ TV, and I worked with Sarah Ann Shaw, whom we're honoring tonight, today. So I'm just excited to be a part of this. Sarah Ann Shaw, is a warrior woman who was one of the first black women on television in Boston way back in the 70s right after busing and so she was at that point breaking ground uh, you know uh, uh, just doing something just that had never been done before in a city that wasn't that open to African Americans at least in positions like journalism she came in as an advocate for the community and in her many years on television, she never changed. She never strayed from that. So she knew she had an obligation as a reporter to report the news. She was a street reporter, but she felt that she had a bigger obligation to represent her community and to make sure that there were lots of different kinds of stories coming out of the black community. We're right now in the middle of a mess where we're trying to make sure that people are treating our stories fairly and that we can tell our own stories. Well, Sarah was one of the first people in this country who knew how important that was in media. And so she's a shero. She's a huge shero. And at this point in her life, at this chapter in her life, when she's slowing down, we want to pay homage to her. We, we want to lift her up. We want to say this is good news in a, in a world where there's so much disturbing news these days. My name is Paul Goodnight. I'm an artist in Boston, Massachusetts, and I'm here to celebrate Sarah Ann Shore, who has been a rock in this community for a long time, doing the news. She's no nonsense. She's perfect for the job, and she had to go through a lot just to get in the position that she was in. So I know her nephew. We work together. He's out in the West Coast. He told me to make sure that I come here, and I'm here. It's not so often, uh, especially when she was coming up, that they would give her the kind of her reverence in, in, in the job that she's doing. And, and I'm sure she had to jump through hoops to get there, uh, to do what she had to do. So I, I, you know, you have to appreciate somebody who's a trailblazer. My name is Alfreda Harris, lifelong resident of Roxbury, Massachusetts. I'm very proud of it. And I've known Sarah Ann, being as though she's also what we call an original, um, all my life. And so I'm here today to help celebrate her and to say hello to her and to wish her the best. And uh, like I said, it's nothing like the Roxbury folks, the original Roxbury folks who grew up together, who love each other, who care about each other, and will do anything we can to help them. My name is Elizabeth Nagaraja and I live right here in Roxbury. I lived here for most of my life and I'm here to celebrate Sarah Ann Shaw on behalf of the Friends of the Roxbury Branch Library. Sarah Ann has been a part of the Friends long before me. She was one of the original members uh, starting the Friends and I'm here representing the group and it's just exciting that the community is coming out to honor her. Hi, my name is Michelle Wu. I'm a Boston City Councilor and a candidate for mayor. Um, I'm here today because I have not yet missed a Roxbury Unity Parade. We've been through, I think, 90 plus degree heat one year. We've been through uh, a lot. And, and this year is incredible, is especially special uh, because we get to celebrate and say hi to uh, one of my heroes and mentors, Dr. Sarah Ann Shaw, who's just been 
I mean, opened the doors for so many in this community and continues to make sure that we have representation, that we're talking about the issues head on, that we are um, building community and joy into everything that we do. I remember when I was growing up, I didn't see a single person who looked like me on TV, right? I, a, a, with the exception of Michelle Kwan, who was a figure skater in the Olympics one year, and that was it. And so I never thought that I could or should be in any of these places or rooms where people had power or making decisions and I think that that it matters who we see on the news who we see on TV who we see making decisions and it's not just about those people making decisions right it's about how are we changing the system so that everybody has a say everybody has a voice and can help shape our future together and Miss Sarah Ann was there decades ago doing that as the very first African-American woman to be a television newscaster in Boston, she made sure that she was changing the narrative about the community, that it was lifting up stories of joy and achievement and opportunity and community, making sure that people could see themselves reflected, people of color would see themselves reflected in all the good that was happening, especially in neighborhoods like Roxbury. Love Today went well. Today went very well. Um, more people showed up than I expected, which is always a beautiful thing. Um, the main thing is that Sarah Ann is happy and she loved it. And I'm glad that we were able to present her with her flowers while she could still smell them. And, um, and I just want to thank everybody for coming out. But I know it's because of her, because she's such a phenomenal woman. That's why people showed up. And um, I just want to thank the community for doing that. Definitely want to thank um, Reverend Liz Walker for helping out. She called and said, what do you need? How can I help? And she was definitely there. Definitely want to thank um, John Keller for um, announcing it on air, letting people know about the parade. Um, definitely want to thank the rest of the Roxbury Unity Parade, my um, director of operations, Brandy Brooks, my grandson, Anton, that was my driver, and my roadie, and he helped me with everything. And thank you to you just for capturing this moment. Because, I mean, I'm just overwhelmed right now. <laughs> I am. I'm very happy. Well, let's keep up. Yeah. I'm out of here. I just want to say I love you. Love you, Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Definitely got to say thank you to her daughter, Claire, for helping me with this. So I appreciate Claire. <laughs> yes. What you're doing is important. We need to get older, more and more younger people understand how how important it is for them to be part of this project. This program. Yes. Yes, I always say, Roxbury, stand up. We are a proud people. This is our gem right here, and we got to make sure she is shining.